Armageddon was supposed to start last night around 11. When I got up at 4 this morning, there was no, well, there was a little bit of snow from last week that was frozen on the ground and stuff, but really there wasn't much snow. Uh, and then at 5 o'clock this, this started. Now, what sucks about this is I'm supposed to go to Florida on Sunday for a business trip and I might be going to see Kevin from Cigar Prop. Um, and this is supposed to keep up through tomorrow. Let's see, today is Thursday, so tomorrow is Friday. And then Saturday it's supposed to get a little bit sunny. So if I'm lucky, it'll melt a bit. And if I'm real lucky, I'll be able to get, uh, I'll be able to get to the airport. And what I'm gonna do is leave Sun, leave Saturday, probably stay at my sister's house Saturday night, and then Sunday morning hit the hit the road or hit the uh, airport. But I don't suspect the creek is going to be bad right now. Yeah, the creek's not bad at all. But when this starts melting, the creek is going to become completely impassable. And I'm supposed to be in Florida for a week. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get home or not. Hey guys. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm hoping to uh, go see Kevin next week. I, I've got a business in Palmdale, not Palmdale, in uh, West Palm Beach. Kevin lives on the other side of the state, but if, uh, if things work out, I'll be able to make a, a, a short road trip over there to uh, hang out with him and meet him in person. And uh, right now, I am jonesing for a cigar. I've been wanting a cigar for three days. Haven't been able to have one because of the weather. And I'm trying to figure out if I can go out into the lab and uh, have a cigar or not. It's, it doesn't feel real cold right now. It's about 25 degrees. But by the time I finish smoking a cigar, that kind of sucks. But, I don't know, we'll see. Well, it's crazy, guys. We are, uh, we've already gotten a foot of snow. We're supposed to get, we're supposed to snow through tonight and through all of tomorrow. And they're speculating that we could get up to 36 inches of snow in freaking Arizona, for crying out loud. Central Arizona. Uh, anyways, I, um, hold on, so we, uh, we burn wood in a wood stove for heat, and when, uh, we, we have a, a metal trash can container that we keep our ashes in so that they can die down, uh, the coals can die down and stuff. And when that ash can, when that uh, can is full, I take it to uh, a brush pit that we have, dump it, because they burn stuff there, and it's a safe place to dump uh, our ashes and everything. So that's where I'm headed to dump stuff right now. But I don't know if I'm going to make it there. I might just have to dump ashes in the uh, wash at my house. This crossing will be completely unpassable in two days when this uh, snow starts melting. This is what you do when you're desperate. I'm sitting out in my truck, I've got the heater going, I've got the windows open so I can have a cigar because I haven't had a cigar in five days. And I was, I wanted one really bad yesterday and didn't have one. So today I'm having one, and I'm smoking, this is the Balmoral um, Connecticut uh, 
uh, what was it called? Connecticut. Well, Connecticut on Yeho XO. And though it is a Connecticut shade, which I don't like shade wrappers at all, they they blended this one uh, specifically to try and kind of tone down the typical shade taste and add some more spice to it than you typically get. So it's got some uh, Pennsylvania broadleaf in it, Connecticut shade wrapper, and I can't remember what else. But I was listening to the so this cigar came in my first Cigar Authority care package uh, after I resubscribed to it here just a, couple, a few weeks ago. And as soon as I opened the package and saw this, I was like, oh man, that sucks. But this is a, this is a $10 and change cigar. So the care package was $19.99. That includes shipping. And this cigar was $10 and there were three other cigars. And I know that one of the other cigars was at least nine dollars so that's a good deal in that care package and this cigar actually is really surprisingly good you can definitely taste that it's a shade wrapper it still has those characteristics but whatever they did on the inside on the blend is offsetting the shade enough that it's just got a nice and it's way spicier than you typically know uh, a shade to be I gotta say, guys, I'm I'm a little freaked out. Uh, so far, we've gotten at least 12 inches, if maybe 14 inches of snow. It is uh, four o'clock right now, 4 p.m. on Thursday, and this is supposed to continue nonstop through uh, Friday night, th through tomorrow night. So, and the the big the big fear or the big worry that we have is uh, when all this starts to melt we get flooding I have a wash that goes behind my house that is flooded over into my yard twice the the main creek floods and, and when that floods there's no getting through it we're, we're trapped my neighbor told us uh, yesterday that in the 80s they got a real bad snow like this and when the snow melted and all the snow that's up on the rim, so the, the rim is about 40 miles, uh, about 30 miles north of me, and uh, we're downhill, so everything comes downhill when it melts. And she said that everyone back here got stuck for three weeks. They couldn't get out uh, past that creek. All right, guys, I'm going to bow out and finish this Balmoral. And Yeho Connecticut XO, something like that. Catch you guys on the flip flop. This is insane. That is my truck over there under that tree. The tree is leaning way over <laughs> from where it normally is. And I came out this morning and shoveled this path to my woodshed so I could get firewood and it is still snowing and somehow I've got to get through all that to go take care of my animals this morning so this massive juniper tree outside my house we lost two big branches which really sucks because uh, this tree provides awesome shade for us in the summertime because the sun sets over in that direction. And we still got a lot of shade, but it just sucks to lose. Anyways, guys, this is a, a video to just let you know that the, this is my front patio. It's currently under four feet of snow. And uh, you can see well, we got snowmageddon, and uh, a business trip of mine has been canceled. Um, I was supposed to leave, supposed to leave on Sunday. Today's Friday. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, but the problem is that uh, right now everything's closed. The little town I live in is about 500 people, 
and there's two roads in, a north road and a south road. They're both closed. And we, we don't have um, a real plow, uh, road plow service or anything. So we're stuck for a little while. And the problem that we have after all this is over with is the melt, uh, especially back in the area where I'm at. This is all flood area back here. And um, my yard's been flooded twice. Haven't had damage to the house yet, but I have lost animals before. And uh, it just sucks, man. <laughs> so anyways, videos might, uh, be sh uh, might be kind of sparse for a little while while I deal with this. But until the next video, stay rugged.